and nothing where, wastes I think the worst, better than that. The, the, the worst part is that maybe you can substitute a certain government in any, in any part of the world. Uh -huh. But when you change the, that bad government, I think that history has been shown along a human kind history that yes. any terrible government always is sub substituted by all, by another another terrible one. <laughs> terrible uh -huh. one. Yes, <laughs> when when something is really bad and you think there is a change. I was surprised it was a change for bad. Yes. There has no been a government that you say, wow, what a one, what a wonderful change, you know? No. Yes. Maybe at the beginning they are better or they are different, but we, as the time goes, it goes on. Everything changes. Uh -huh. as, the time, as the time goes on, uh -huh. exactly. Very good. Yes, every time, everything sorry changes, and I think because they discover, they uh, think about the the weakness okay. that provoke previous government uh, fall down. So that cost that, like, that cost not provoke. The what sorry? That cost. Ah, that cost. Uh -huh, that cost. Uh -huh. The previous one uh, fall down, fall down. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, they become the same, the same way they were. The last one was. <laughs> yeah, so. so they, so they try to, to, to be protected with this <laughs> problem. So yes. they become worse. <laughs> that sucks. That really sucks. That, that's a, that's the course of the Mexican government. I don't know if it's in the, in the other parts of the world, but at least here. That's what history has taught us. Yes, I think that terrible the statement describes us. Exactly. So Chicho, whenever you, when you, when you get to the presidency, please, please uh, be be the exception. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> to me, uh, and to install a new power, you know. Okay. Yes, sorry okay. to clean everybody. Damn, that sounds that sounds uh, like like uh, that sounds like 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 today's government. I don't know. Because you know, it's a total. Okay. No, but, but <laughs> yes, today's government. Have answers in the class. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, your perfect idea was blocked by your internet. I couldn't understand a lot, but I really hope uh -huh. you can. That we have to continue with the class. Yeah. Okay. So don't, so don't give me your your plans uh, for the future, right? Our secret. Our secrets, okay. Our national secrets today. So, okay, okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Very good. Maybe you can see what every government say, you know, uh, doing the, the country more secure. Uh, uh -huh. Make, make the country. Poor. Uh, make, make the country more, uh, no, safe. Exactly. Safe. Safer. Safer. Uh -huh. Exactly. Safer and helping poor people, giving extra budget for education, eh, yes. whatever we do. <laughs> yes, exactly. Every, every politician said the same, I think. <laughs> oh my God, we need to, we need to disrupt that, that, that mentality because today we don't have faith in our politicians. Yes, you know? I think they, with other with different words, but at the at the fin finally uh, the proposals are in the this same. or around this uh, <laughs> these edges. <laughs> always, always, <laughs> always. We have to disrupt. We have to disrupt, Chucho. Disruption is the key. The exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's no another way. There's not another way. <laughs> Very good. 
Well, I, well, I think we are following a, a different path, but contrary to, in the opposite sense of, for example, previous uh, Mexican president, we are in an English class, so we will be able to pronounce infrastructure, for example. Uh -huh, exactly, <laughs> opposite to previous, uh, previous uh, uh, presidents and the current one, we speak English. <laughs> ah, yes, so yes, and the current one. <laughs> our credentials are, are bigger. Than yes, <laughs> with that exactly. part, we are being different. <laughs> exactly, exactly, that's going to be enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, people, let's hit it. Let's check now phrasal verbs in the workplace. Okay, which is, I think, is going to be a little bit more useful for one of you. Uh, last ones were pretty nice about ones. I want you to start using them in the class. Okay. So remember all of these, I want you to dominate them because I want you to start using them inside the class, okay? Today, we are going to go through workplace phrasal verbs. And there was something... There was some of them that can be actually useful in this case. I will give you the example again, and you tell me what it means to you, okay? Okay. If I tell you, Chucho, give me the pendings, and I'll try to fit them in after lunch. I repeat. Give, give me the, the pendings. What? The pendings. The pendings are like tasks that you have to do or, or tasks that you have programmed that you haven't yes. done, no? Yes. yes. Give me the pendings and I'll try to fit them in after lunch. To, to finish? To... to finish, kinda, kinda. Uh, to, to deliver. To deliver that's another one very good but no there's something higher let me help you here uh, i have pendings the reason i have pendings is because i couldn't fit them in in yesterday's day in yesterday's schedule the reason i have pendings is because i couldn't uh. fit in. To to collocate it. Collocate it where? The schedule to in order to finish the work. Right to collocate the schedule, which sounds very strange if you say collocate the schedule. Is there another way you can say that? Uh, to what is the word for agenda? Uh, schedule. <laughs> to schedule. <laughs> mm -hmm. Schedule them. Ah, teacher? I, I, yes, Luis. I, I have heard in my job mm -hmm. that some some people say precisely agenda. Well, agenda know. as a as a noun. Not as, as a noun, a yes. Ah no, no, as a noun, sorry, yes. Uh, as a noun it exists. But to, 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 to schedule something is to put a pending into a timetable, right? The problem with that one is, like, in this particular case, is that the schedule doesn't really matches the phrasal verb fit in. This one doesn't really match the word that we need here. If the reason the reason we have, for example, pendings is because we couldn't find the time because probably you scheduled it. That's something important. Check this out. Probably you scheduled the task, but you didn't have time to do it. <clears throat> you see what I mean? This is when you put the word fit in. To fit in is to find time 
to ah, see ah. somebody or do something. So now if you say, I had to fit 10 appointments into one morning, I had to find the time for 10 appointments into one morning. Find the time. For, for this, uh, for fit, fit in, mm -hmm. uh, no, yes, it's fit in, fit in right? The, the word that we are discussing. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, when you are in your, in the, in the job, uh, maybe you need to review a particular topic with your manager, no? but the <clears throat> but the but the time of your manager is not precisely the most uh, the most uh, um, could, uh, what is the opposite or reduced? No, uh -huh. the opposite of reduced. But someone, you have a reduced resource, and what is what? How can I describe the opposite? The opposite would be... Abundant? Ah, oh, wait, are you describing or are you... Describing the verb? No, describe. Reduce is a verb. So, watch out. The word that you need is, if you want abundant... Yes. Okay, you can say abundant. Abundant? Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so maybe the time of your manager is not the, the most ab abund abund abundant resource. Right? Okay. So uh, your manager maybe is, is so so busy uh -huh. and they tell you, ah, oh, please uh, look for look for uh, a time or a, a space in my agenda. No? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So, uh, you, can you answer? Yes, I'll, I'll fit in a, a time for our meeting. I'll fit in a time for our meeting because exactly your boss doesn't have a lot of time. So, so he will try. He will try to open a little, a little, a little space in his in his in his agenda. Uh, okay, so yeah, you will be finding a uh, free time, a uh, free space, and you <clears throat> you will fit in the meeting in that space. No, he will fit you in. Ah, uh, exactly. no, no, you. Aha, uh -huh, not you. Uh, he will fit you in. Uh -huh. uh, okay, okay, yeah. Actually, we need to indicate which ones are separables and which ones are not. Fit. Fit someone in. And, and that is important because in the, in the previous list, we didn't see which ones are separable. For, for example, a sad example that obviously doesn't happen to me. It's like, it doesn't work because you won't fit me in your life. <laughs> It didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. If, if you say it doesn't work, it's because you are insisting. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> because you didn't fit me in your life. Exactly. She 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 commands. She has the power to decide. <laughs> if she doesn't fit you in, next another another babe will will uh, appreciate. You know what I mean? To be an athlete is very difficult, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> that's why you 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 should get an athlete. Yes. As a girlfriend, yes. because they, they, they nobody else will understand. They they mediocre minds. <laughs> One hundred percent. Yes. I I am I am like you, brother. Don't worry. If she doesn't fit you in. That's because she doesn't understand, you know. Oh my God, that that was a that was a very good uh, observation, brother. 
throw pound, fall behind, catch up on, look up, look it up. Yeah, people say look it up. Miss it out. Miss sometimes people say some miss it out. Take in, this is not separable. Run through. Run it through now. Mix it up. Yes, this is separable. So whenever I, I give you the face, a little face over here, that means that the phrasal verb is separable. Do you remember what, why they are separable, right? Uh, yes. Yes, yes. Do, you, do you have this in mind? Uh, yes, the, the old truck. Yes, yeah, for example, reach me out and now and now uh, reach out me. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Why not? Why not the second one? Uh, because it's a parable. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 terrible. Okay, here we go. Terrible, <laughs> terrible, terrible. Mister Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that was very bad. No, sorry about that episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I leave the class teacher. This is impossible. <laughs> it's impossible yeah. to work with them. Impossible with this, with this kind of people. You're not going to deal with, with this kind of people. <laughs> this is, this is, this is the why we are here. Okay, this is an open, no judgmental area. You know. That's now the clowns' hour. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't worry, don't worry. Here I am to illustrate you, okay? So don't worry about that. Thank you. Thank you. Don't I don't know too, by the way. <laughs> I don't know about that, you know. <laughs> let me let me help you with this, okay? Yes. When you are talking about phrasal verbs, we have the best demonstration is this one. We have a transitive phrasal verb is a verb that needs a person, right? If you don't remember what is a transitive verb, it's a verb that needs a receiver. Receives it or who listens to it. For example, my friend told me, no? Tell is a transitive verb. Right, do you get the, the point of this? Yes. Right? Right. So we have pick up the phone. If you say pick up, you need to say what? I need to pick up, right? And this phrasal verb, pick up, is separable because you can say, pick the phone up. The issue with English is that when you substitute, or when you replace the noun with a pronoun, you cannot put it at the end because it sounds weird. That is really, really, really the reason is hashtag English. Yes, it sounds bad. It sounds bad. Ugly. <laughs> That's the only reason. There's no other. So for English native speaker, in the case of transitive verb, uh, they prefer that the, the verb uh, wrapper the who receive uh, the action? The, the verb what? Rapper? R rapper? I go to the bat. Yeah, sure. Ah, come on. <laughs> the verb rapper? I don't understand that. Is it rapper? Yes. What I is think. rapper? W R R A P P E R. Ah, rapper. Ah, okay. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Rapper is it the concept? You want the the, the verb? Wrapped. Ah, the, the past participle wrapped. Okay. 
But in present, what is the verb? Wrap. Wrap? Ah, wrap. Uh -huh. uh, wrapper is a... Is a paper. The paper uh, that... Uh, the that paper wraps, or, or maybe the maybe a box, for example, also? Uh, no, a box is a box. Uh, a wrap box. is a, like the, when you open a gancito, you know, the, 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 the metallic plastic that surrounds uh, the gancito, that's a wrapper. Okay, okay. So you throw it to the trash. Ah, uh, okay, so Mar Marinela wraps gancito. <laughs> Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. Okay. And the wrapper is the metallic uh, paper. paper. Ah, okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so uh, for, in, for transitive verb, the verb need to wrap the the uh, the person or who received the action. Or the, aha, uh -huh. exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. The receiver of the action. So, some transitive verbs, well, the, most most of the transitive verbs, especially phrasal verbs, wrap the 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 receiver. You know, it's very common to 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 use them in the second way or the third way. That's why it sounds super strange when you put the pronoun at the end, because nobody uses that. So we can say that uh, a way to enhance our way of speaking when we are using phrasal verbs is to is detecting if the verb is transitive or not, and if it is the case, uh, pl uh, place no place uh, place the the person who received the action in the middle? Yes, the yes, precisely. Okay. But that one, that one is too much analysis. Honestly, we don't do that when we are listening to American people. So the best way to attack this is by checking many, many, many examples, you know, and then saying, ah, okay, people, when they say pick up, they usually say pick it up and, and the best way to attack it is with with collocations do you remember what was a collocation i don't know if we have seen that yes we saw yes, it we covered it yeah a collocation is a are words that are commonly together no remember that aha uh -huh, yes for example looking for exactly why for and not other? Exactly. <laughs> so this type of, of, of expressions, especially phrasal verbs, usually go, usually have a particular, uh, a particular pronoun that goes together with the phrasal verb. So people usually say, pick it up, pick them up. And you can say, ah, okay, the person separated the phrasal verb. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Ah, yes, so you are, uh -huh. yes, yes. Uh -huh. The verb and the, 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 the person separates the verb and the collocation. Exactly. Uh -huh. So you can understand how often they use it whenever you are listening to American people you can identify phrasal verbs with with its corresponding collocation and that becomes oh. easier if yes. you detect words by collocation it's faster than if you give the analysis of ah this is a transitive verb and that's the reason it separates you know that's too much information okay yes yes I agree <laughs> that's the one so whenever we are talking about the little person over here, we are. This is a way to indicate that this is a separable phrasal verb. Okay, perfect. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna give you another one, and you tell me. You tell me what what's the meaning, okay? Let's say that we go through 
follow through. This is very similar to the other one. I tell you, I was able to follow through the pendings during my lunch break. I repeat, I was able to follow through the pendings during my lunch break. What's the meaning of this one, Lewis? I feel it's uh, kind of continue attending. Attending. Watch out. Attending is not... It's a verb that means to go. To arrive. Okay, so... Uh, uh, so... Uh, okay, for example, attending... You are, maybe you are attending a, a conference. Okay, uh -huh. no? you are, uh -huh, exactly. Okay, so no, no, that is not a verb. Or the list of attendance. Attendance, yes. Right, so yes, now that's it. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. So continue. Uh, uh, working on. Close, 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 close. Okay. I was able to follow through the pendings during my lunch time and I feel free today and I have an empty schedule now. What is the original example? That's example. I was able to uh, follow through. I was able to follow through the pendings. And I feel free today. So maybe giving continu continuity until conclusion? Uh, continuity until conclusion. To, yes. to leave. To leave, Trisha? To leave something that worries you. No, nah, that was too much metaphoric because I said, uh -huh, I said, uh, I feel free. So it sounds a little, a little weird. It's more about pendings. It's more about tasks. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Louis said until conclusion. That was a very complex way to say finish. To finish something. You know what I mean? To follow through is to finish some to finish payments. Okay. First of all, thing that you had started. To finish something you had started. Now that's better. So let's imagine you have a today you start an activity, but it will require a couple of days. So you will follow through on the next sessions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Follow through is a parable. Yes. Yes, it is. And you can also say follow through with. Which is the, the chunk. Do you remember chunks, Chucho? Oh, yes. A classic. A classic. Yes. So we usually use a connector with with the connect with the word follow through when it's not separable. Okay. Watch out is when it's not separable, when you don't separate this two. Comprehension. 
a problem? Do you understand it? Yes. Yes, yes. Good. Let's go to the next. Okay. If we are talking about... Okay, Chucho, I didn't want to see my boss today. Okay. I didn't you... want to see my boss today because I have, I have some, some things to speak to him. <laughs> but I ran into him while making coffee. But I was, I what, what I was, what? but I ran into him while making coffee. Mm. Uh, do you have bad feelings with about some one? To have a feelings, but but that the first you are ignoring the first section. I didn't want to see my boss, but I ran into him. Uh, so, uh, okay, okay. So you have to do something that you don't want to do. Ah, exactly. But what happened to mix to, to run into? What's the meaning of that? Uh, obligate someone to do something. Watch out, the word is oblige, not obligate. But nah, that's not the one, brother. Okay. No, 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 there's another one. Mm, okay, oblige, okay, okay. Could you repeat the example, please, teacher? Yes, of course. Thank you. I didn't want to see my boss today, but I ran into him at the coffee at the break room um, you, uh, you had an encounter you had an encounter <laughs> you you have very complex words <laughs> yes something like that is you met somebody by chance uh, okay to meet somebody by chance, this is not uh, separable and this is considered informal. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Do you get it? Okay. To run into a person is to meet a person or to meet someone by chance. Encounter. Let me check the word encounter, Luis, because I don't think we use that word for that, eh? Encounter. <laughs> to experience something, especially something unpleasant or difficult. Aha, yes, no, 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 no. When you encounter something, Luis, it's because the, the thing was really negative. Well, <clears throat> don't have another exception. It is the only one. Oh, I'm not going to use me, right? Yeah. It's, it will be the same. I have the same. The same thing, encounter is, is to, to see something. Look at this, it's very interesting that we have the word run into, too. You see? But it's another definition. So we could say that when you have a problem, you can run into a person, but you can also run into trouble. Trouble. 
to experience difficulties, etc. For example, be careful not to run into depth. Do you understand that? Be careful not to run into depth. Into depth? Uh -huh. What is depth? Depth is to owe money to the bank or a credit or a store. Ah, yes, 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 yes. You know? Mm -hmm. One copy. <laughs> to one copy. <laughs> <laughs> because they will not stop looking for you. Yes. <laughs> Uh, in fact, someone uh, told me that uh, Bank Azteca and I think also Copeland, I'm not completely sure, they followed the strategy of going to your home Jesus. with, um, how could I say it, with, uh, with clothes, okay. uh, with the logos of the company and uh, with logos of the company and very how could i say it uh it's, so it's not high. when you it's a I, I need a word for describing a color which is more which is most uh which is uh, uh for example it's not the same yellow or orange than blue for example or than black for example no? Yellow and this uh, in Spanish we have a word, but no, I don't know in English. Uh, but what are you talking about? Like people, people scammers who pretend to be uh, scammers who pretend to be uh, people from that company. Aha, uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. So they arrive to your house with with uniforms. Ah, with uniforms, but the I need an adjective for describing a color, which 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 is more I mean intensive is that word? With intensive color, color intense. Intensive intense. is very different. Intense colors. So that you, the intention is that you can that your neighbors can notice the pres the presence of these people, no, that is trying to obtain the money from you. Really? Uh -huh. So if people go with these intense colors and with the company's logos, they try to that you feel. Uh, uh, what is the opposite of proud? Ah, uh, to intimidate. Uh, no, not per se intimidate. Uh, for example, when you, what is the opposite of, of being proud of something? Ashamed. Whoa. Something is happening to your connection, brother. Ah, yes, yes. My network is again. What's that? So again, it was the opposite of the opposite of being uh, proud. proud is to be ashamed. To be ashamed. Uh -huh. uh, okay, so the and to to provoke this sensation <laughs> is to shame you. Ah, uh, okay, yes, the, the, the intention of of. Uh, using people with the lo company's logos and intense colors he, that they uh, is a shame you <laughs> really so playing with this feeling uh, they obtain the money <laughs> because uh, uh, playing uh, with the shame of, of debt uh -huh, because your neighbor can notice this kind of very intense uniforms and they say, ah, oh, look at, uh, I don't know, Juanito is, uh, has a debt with Van yes, you know, Van is always. Um, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. That's very bad because uh, uh, that, that's so sad, sense. you know. <laughs> we are talking about the, yes, 
you know that's really sad because if 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 Coppel like that, that's something that I hate about criminals or scammers because they go to the people who don't or doesn't have money that's so stupid yes it's like you are literally stealing the last resources that a person has the reason they owe money to couple is because they don't have money to pay so then now you are trying to get more money from those people it's like there are two things that are so bad with these people one they don't consider how difficult it is no uh -huh. for them and two they are in the same situation as you brother like why why are you why are they doing that you know i yeah. hate scammers i just hate scammers you say yo avoid uh, avoiding a uh, debts with couple for okay. not having uh no for done for not for not running into uh scammers no for not running into scammers no, we no for scammers. not no in, we, no into 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 scammers ah it sounds weird <laughs> no it is it is actually yeah. correct yes it doesn't sound weird uh, it sounds weird if you think it in spanish yes he's my he's spanish my span spanish mindset <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> That's always going to have to be a problem. <laughs> yeah, because running to a scam. Uh, <laughs> 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 yes, yes, yes. Don't, don't, don't think in Spanish because that sounds very. Yeah, it sounds very bad. I, I understand. <laughs> <Very well. laughs> yes, no, no, no. Please don't don't consider that literally. Okay, <laughs> phrasal verbs are never literal. <laughs> Run into. <laughs> Okay. Yes, no, that was too much. This camera running into me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, 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 no. That, that can really, really affect. Yeah, I don't know. What is that? <laughs> exactly. No, no, yes, that's I'm going to try not to. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> exactly. That was, that was, that was hardcore. Hardcore. <laughs> hardcore. <laughs> Finance. I promise I will pay you, but no, no, no. Exactly. No. <laughs> okay, I pay you, okay. <laughs> no problem. Give me my wallet. That's oh. worse than shame, you know? Yes, no. Cash money not functions. Exactly. No, no, no. That's even worse. I prefer to be shamed than yes. to. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, no, that, that will be horrible. Yeah. Oh no, Jesus terrible Christ. examples. Terrible examples, man. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's a one. Okay, so run into. Run into are the two things. Be careful. I, I want to talk about that one. That one was very tricky because precisely we are talking about words that have the same meaning, no? And you said, okay, encounter. Encounter is when you find a difficult situation, but not when you find a person. Mm. Okay, which is a, one of the things that, that affect a, a Spanish translation or, or, or thinking in Spanish, because in Spanish is encontrar and it sounds kind of similar. No? Yes. So be careful over there. To encounter is just for a, a difficult situation, for a bad situation, exclusively. You know? And run into number two is similar to encounter. Only number two, the first one is not. The first one is similar to meet. So encounter is for the situation, is for situation. Aha. Uh -huh. Or... Encounter is for a difficult situation, especially. Ah, this is for people. It is <laughs> Never facing for issues, right? Facing issues. Okay. Right? Never, never, never by for a for for meeting a person. You know? Okay, so 
Creo que no sé, hay jada ni counter with eh, salinas de Gortari, por ejemplo. No, no. <risa> if, if you fought with salinas de Gortari, like Fin Punch, yes, you can say that. You know? <risa> ok. If you say I had, a, I had an encounter with salinas de Gortari, it's because you had a box fight to, like, with, with the person. Ah, ok. That could be positive, but no. <risa> <risa> Depende. No, okay. Eso es algo muy diferente. Muy, muy diferente. Ok. Keep up with. Right? Keep up with goes as follows. Chucho. Ok. Mm. I always read, I always read the company's, the company's bulletin to keep up with the latest innovations in it. Okay. Well, for, yes, uh, to, <laughs> well, what is a, Synonym of give um, to maintain, um, to be continuing. Okay, okay. To be continuing informed about something. <laughs> to be continuing informed. That sounds very strange. Yes, I, I know. You must have worse. Uh, yes, that sounds very, very strange. <laughs> to be, to be in four with the with the last news about something. To be in four, okay, that's better. That's better. To be in four yes. with the latest news and things like that, right? Yes. Current events, etc. I'm gonna events. help you with this one. To be aware. Aware, yes, it's aware. Exactly. That's correct. To be aware. So meetings, especially at uh, the workplace, are used to keep up with it, with the latest. Things. That's the objective of meetings. Okay. Right? Right. That's the way we use it. Good. Good, good, good. With, and this is, is this informal or, or I can use it in a normal talk for example yeah that one is pretty casual for example uh, i want to be keep up with uh the gossip i don't know <laughs> oh, okay eliminate b because keep up is a verb i want i want ah, okay i want to keep up with the gossip Exactly. I want to keep up with the gossip. That's correct. Okay. That's the way we see. Mm -hmm. Good. Good, good, good. Interesting. Did you get it? In the case of Lewis, did you understand it? Uh, yes, Jim. Okay. So let's go to the next. Point out. I am very glad that you point out that or that you point that out because I wanted to talk about it. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, expose a topic. Expose. Again, Spanglish. There's a lot of words that you are mixing. Yeah, there's too much, too many words that we are mixing. To expose something is not the same as to bring out, you know? To bring out is to, to mention something. So you understood, but you use incorrect translation. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, uh -huh, no, to, I'm just, I'm just showing a topic in your discourse about uh, mention. Mention. Showing uh -huh. again, showing, show and and mention are not synonyms. No, mention, mention is is the correct. Aha, uh -huh. exactly. Let me check. Mention by synonym. <laughs> Refer, allude, declare, disclose. Disclose is the word that you need. When you when you are thinking in the word uh, exponer, yes, you, the word that you wanted is disclose, Luis, not not expose. Reveal, reveal is another. Dis disclose, not disclose. Sí. Disclose and reveal, not expose. So disclose. So it's when, uh, uh, okay. okay. Uh -huh. that, that's the, the, the difficult part about, uh, about this specific level. There are so many false cognates that we are falling <laughs> to. So it's uh, like giving, giving exposure to a topic in a moment. Exactly, precisely. You okay. exposure to a topic in a specific moment. Okay. And that is the way, my people. Okay. We have to cover the last the last section. Okay, so let's try to make it make it for tomorrow. And we have other phrasal verbs. We are talking about emotional this uh, emotional issues. We are talking about health, but that's gonna be with with calm and everything. Okay. Hey, let me take a poll. Yes, please. Second. Yes. So we can keep keep up with the next ones. Okay. Okay. Keep up. Wait. Keep up. That's right. My right, people, Sounds. have a very good Wednesday. You too, teacher. Yes, I see you I'll see you tomorrow. See you on Friday. See you on Friday. Have a nice day. So, for siempre. Yes. <laughs> Forever and ever. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. See you.